Alex Robe, Belgium. Rubén Herrera, Bolivia. Leonardo Nobre, Brasil. Yang Zhenhuan, China. Manuel Molano, Colombia. Matias Dojek, Czech Republic. Kenny Rodriguez, República Dominicana. Miguel Arevalo, El Salvador. Aquí para mi Ana, Finland. Yo de Jose, La France. Jan Girl, Guam. Wow. Shawnee, Hong Kong. Dara Singh Kurana, India. Alvalinori Clef Gazenda, Indonesia! Matsuda Taizan, Japan! Sua Lee, Korea! Michael Hude, Lebanon! Melkin Camilleri, Malta! Armando Zuna, México! John Gogo, Yama! Sadid Alam from Nepal. Jeremy Lansing, Netherlands! Elvis Murillo, Nicaragua! Hussein Ahmad, Panama! Juan Herbert, Peru! Rivel Lanzan, Philippines. Arkady Zadrożny, Poland. Joseph Didier, Puerto Rico. Amadiso, Singapore. Dwayne Khalime, South Africa. Rubén Castillero. Spain. Alessio Costantini, Switzerland. Haran, Tetsuratun, Thailand. Nelson Rivera, USA. Ignacio Milles, Venezuela. Mijun Fan, Vena. Mignolaba, Myanmar! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 12th Mr. International! We are live in one of the most fascinating countries in the world, the golden land of Myanmar! Tonight, two countries are competing for the first time in Mr. International history. Finland and Nicaragua. Truly a worldwide battle royale. So this year, we are actually things up. For the first time, countries will be separated into three groups based on their geography. Group 1 is Asia and the Pacific. Group 2 is Europe and Africa. The third group is the Americas. For Asia and the Pacific, you're going to meet 14 contestants. 10 contestants from Europe and Africa. And finally, you will meet contestants from the Americas. Are you guys ready? Three men from each group are guaranteed to move on to the finals. Then to round out our top 16, we've got six wild card spots that is open to all the remaining contestants, regardless of the group and one from our fan vote. If you guys are ready, since we are in Myanmar, let's start right here at home. The Asia and the Pacific set the bar that everyone else is trying to reach. 
Five out of the 11 Mr. International winners have come from this region. Ladies and gentlemen, the contenders from Asia and the Pacific. <laughs> China Guam Hong Kong India Indonesia Japan Korea Lebanon Myanmar <laughs> Nepal <laughs> Philippines <laughs> Singapore Vietnam Thirty six aspiring young men from across the globe are laying out their line tonight. We've seen Asia and the Pacific work the stage, and right now it's Europe and Africa. Another outstanding group of young men, but only three of them are guaranteed a spot in the next round. In this region, we've got only two winners in the last 11 years. But this year, strong contenders from Europe and Africa have arrived. Please welcome the contenders from Europe and Africa. Belgium Czech Republic Finland France Malta Netherlands Poland South Africa Spain Switzerland Well, so far, we have seen our contestants from two groups, Asia and the Pacific, Europe and Africa. 
at least three of these contestants will have a chance to make their dream come true. Tonight, Nicaragua is a new country in this region. Overall, this region is actually strong. Ladies and gentlemen, meet your contestants from the Americas. Bolivia Brazil Colombia Dominican Republic El Salvador Mexico Nicaragua Panama Peru Puerto Rico USA Venezuela There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, 36 distinctively handsome men vying for the title of the 12th Mr. International. Next up, let's meet the judges right on the stage of Mr. International. Welcome back everyone, 
Just like any other competition, we have invited a group of respected individuals to help us out in determining this year's Mr. International. So I guess it's time to meet our judges. Our first judge is the International Director, Consultant of Carry Models International, Myanmar. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Brian Jeremiah. She is the Chief Editor of Crown Magazine. Give it up for Kin Chu Chu Un. He is the Managing Director and Co-Founder of Mr. and Miss Tourism and Culture Universe Pageant. Please welcome Lamai Robin. And we also have our final judge, a photography expert from Aroma. Give it up for Ku Omyatu. Good evening to you, judges. I hope that I pronounced your well, uh, your name as well. Okay, and I'm, I'm actually trying to learn more of the Burmese language or the language here in Myanmar. So earlier, before we started the competition, they actually asked them for the right pronunciation of your name. So uh, once again, thank you so much for gracing our event. A big hand for our judges, please. At this point, we are going to take you around the world with the most distinctively handsome man. A true Mr. International should be able to carry himself with confidence and strong charisma, being fashion forward in every sense. Please welcome back our contestants in their fashion wear.
Once again, please give a warm round of applause to our 36th distinctively handsome man. For our contestants, the competition began over a week ago. At the moment they stepped off the plane here in Myanmar, they immediately went head to head in the preliminary competition, where the pressure was on right from the start. At this juncture, we are going to recognize a few contestants for their special qualities as we present to you our special awards. The first award is given to the most inspirational and friendliest contestant. Chosen by his fellow contestants, we are going to announce the Mr. Congeniality International. Mr. Congeniality International is... Netherlands! Congratulations! A blue ribbon panel of judges chose the next contestant for portraying distinctively handsomeness throughout the lens of a camera. This is Mr. Photogenic International. Mr. Photogenic International is... Brazil! Fans of misology from all over the world have followed the competition since it began. They decided and chosen their favorite. The winner is chosen by the fans as misology's choice. Ladies and gentlemen, misology's choice is... Philippines! Thank you so much and congratulations to the winners of our special awards. Once again, Mr. Congeniality International is Netherlands. Bagging the award for Mr. Photogenic International is Brazil. And Missology's choice is Philippines. You guys truly deserve this recognition for your exquisite qualities. A big hand for them, please. When we get back, please hold your breath and for those who are watching at home, grab something to eat as we announce our top 16 live from the 12th Mr. International in Yangon Theater, Myanmar. Earlier this week, a preliminary panel of judges and the members of the Mr. International organization selected 16 finalists. Now remember, countries have been separated into three groups based on their geography, Asia and the Pacific, Europe and Africa, and the Americas. Three men from each group are guaranteed to move on to the finals, and six wildcard spots that are open to all remaining contestants regardless of the groups. And of course, we have one from our fan vote. Before we announce the top 16, uh, please welcome on stage certified public accountant and auditor, the official tabulator of the 12th Mr. International, Amir Gamama. Are you guys ready? The first three finalists from the Americas.
the first contestant from the America is Venezuela. Also moving forward is Colombia. And now the final selection for the Americas. Puerto Rico. And now we are about to announce our finalists from Europe and Africa. The first contestant from Europe and Africa to advance is... Switzerland! The next spot goes to Poland. There's only one spot left in Europe and Africa. Still in the competition is South Africa. Right now, we are going to reveal the finalists from Asia and the Pacific. Are you ready? The first to advance from Asia and the Pacific is... Vietnam! One step closer to the title. Indonesia. There's only one spot left for Asia and the Pacific. And it belongs to... Japan. Well, there you have it, folks. Our first nine finalists. A big hand for them, please. But for the rest of you, there's still a chance. Six wildcard spots are up for grabs, which means six contestants from any region and one from fan vote is about to earn a shot at the coveted Mr. International live in Yangon, Myanmar. Welcome back to Mr. International. Well, nine amazing men have already earned themselves a spot in the top 16. We began with three regional showdowns. Three men emerged from each region and continue their quest for the title. But regionals are now closed. But for the contestants who did not make it to the cut, there's one more chance to stay in the competition. All of our remaining contestants from anywhere in the world are eligible. Seven spots left, and at this point, it's anybody's game. Yangon, are you ready? I haven't called you yet. I just asked them. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Myanmar. We haven't announced it yet. All right. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Sometime, sometimes there are uh, language barriers that they do not understand. So uh, I hope that everyone would understand that, especially those who are watching at home. Okay. Whew. 27 men are still having a chance. Making to the final 16 is... Netherlands!
The next man is Spain. Next to advance is Korea. Still in the running, Nicaragua. Headed to the next round is Philippines. Still in the competition, Lebanon. Well, 21 men are still hoping to hear their name, but there's only one spot left. To complete our top 16, Mexico. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our final 16. They worked hard to make it this far, but as the, as the competition continues, we will see them in the swimwear round. Live with the 12th, Mr. International. Welcome back to Mr. International. According to these guys, preparing for the first official competition of the evening entails being fit and healthy with a large amount of confidence and determination to achieve that kind of Mr. International physique. For everybody who's watching, this round will make a difference between your favorite contender moving closer to the title or being eliminated. The contestants are wearing Renara swimwear to set the night ablaze. Let us all welcome the top 16 finalists in the swimwear competition.
Starting things off in the swimwear competition, your top 16 finalists beginning with Venezuela. Pain. 
This 16 Extraordinary Man just rocked the swimwear competition. A big hand for them, please. But only 10 of them will be moving forward to the next round. By the end of the night, one contestant will be crowned the 12th Mr. International. After the break, we will reveal the top 10 and the winner of our national costume competition when Mr. International continues. Welcome back to Mr. International. These men have a lot to be proud of. They all made an impact during the preliminary competition and just lit up the stage in the swimwear round. But six of them are about to be eliminated. The judges' score have been counted and it's time to reveal our top 10. May we call in Mr. Amir Gamama, our official tabulator. The first contestant to make it to the top 10 is... Colombia! <music> Moving ahead in the competition is... South Africa! The next man to advance is... Vietnam! Taking one step closer to the title... Nicaragua! Still in the competition! Japan! Locking down the next spot is... Switzerland! Also heading to the top 10 is... Korea! Only three spots left. Still in the running. Venezuela! Two more to go. Breaking through is... Philippines! Seven men are waiting to hear their name, but there is only one spot left. But before that, let us give our top 16 a warm round of applause. Thank you so much and congratulations, you made it this far. The last contestant for the top 16 is... Puerto Rico! <music> Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you this year's Top 10! <music> These world-class men are shining examples of what it means to be distinctively handsome. By the end of the night, one of them will be our next Mr. International. And now, the National Costume Competition isn't just a fan's favorite. It's a Mr. International tradition. You have to trust me when I say that these costumes are really, really creative, intricately made to represent their countries with honor and dignity. Check out these highlights from the National Costume Competition held earlier this week. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all watch this.
Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the national costume competition is... Sawadi Ka Thailand. And of course, we'd like to thank Sion Lim and Dan Bar of Oxen Films for that wonderful video presentation. And thank you so much to Lumina Events. And speaking of amazing, let us all be amused with Myanmar's homegrown boy band. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear them. Please welcome Element X. <laughs> Chỉ mà không phải tuyên thật xuống hợp bố mẹ đồ Tập tiên anh ta sẽ tùy xấu Tập tiêu nơi lại khám bố Tụ rì cả xấu cho thế này kể như gì đủ nhá hề Đi áo rì mẹ quê đủ mà chỉ sẵn là đồ tỏa mê Cái này đi phải bố mơ Tập xấu bị không tùy bố
And we are back at the 12th Mr. International. Well, the night began with 36 men, 16 survived the regionals, and now just 10 world-class contestants remain. It's now time for the Evening Wear Competition! Top 10 finalists in their evening wear. We begin with Colombia. Africa. Nicaragua
Korea. Venezuela Your top 10 finalists tonight is diversity of style and a lot of personality good job guys now that our top 10 finalists have dazzled the stage it's all up to our judges five of these men will be moving one step closer to their dream it's all going down after this break this is mr international live from yangon myanmar Welcome back to Mr. International. I hope your favorite made it to the top five. But this is a very impressive group. They are all distinctively handsome and inspiring. But personality came through. And that's what they're going to be looking at in the next portion. The question and answer round. Now, throughout his reign, Mr. International travels around the world as a global ambassador. Being fast on his feet, and being polished under pressure is essential. The answers will determine who moves into the final three. Contestants, once I've read the question, you will be given 30 seconds to deliver a clear and concise answer. And when your time is up, you will hear this sound. Now for some of our contestants, we will be having an interpreter. I think we are all ready. Let's begin with Switzerland. Hello, how are you? I'm 
very fun and I'm thankful to be here. Benglama, Myanmar and all the people who support me, I love you from day one. Thank you. Are you ready for the question? You spend a lot of time with elderly folks in your country. What is the most valuable lesson that you have learned from them? You spend a lot of time with elderly folks in your country. What is the most valuable lesson you have learned from them? The answer is, I'm someone genuine, I have a genuine heart, and I act with my heart every day. The most, thing, the most important thing I learned with working with elderly people is that please enjoy your life and be close to your family, because when you are in a home for old people, lots of people don't get the love they deserve. I live every day to give all the love I can to all the people, and it's very important to leave the world with a feeling to have been loved lifelong. Voila, that's my answer. Thank you so much, Switzerland! <laughs> Give all your love every day. And now let's move on to South Africa. Good evening, South Africa. How are you feeling right now? I am doing very well at this moment. I'm blessed to be here and uh, I want to give it the best I can to be a distinctively handsome gentleman. Thank you. Thank you. Indeed, you're distinctively handsome. Ready for the question? All right. Pageant competitions are getting popular in your country. If you win Mr. International, how would you promote the competition in Africa? Again, pageant competitions are getting popular in your country. If you win Mr. International, how would you promote the competition in Africa? Firstly, uh, this is the first year South Africa has uh, made it to Mr. International. And when I get back to my country, I want to be an inspiration to all uh, young gentlemen uh, in the pageant industry to show their true love for pageantry, that they can be distinctive, handsome men and with love and caring hearts, they can be the best gentleman to any person around the world if they can just inspire uh, other people the way I can inspire people to do well and give love to the world. Thank you. Thank you very much, South Africa. Truly that he can be a strong influencer. And now let's move on to Korea. I believe that we have an interpreter. Good evening. Would you like to greet them in Korean tonight? 안녕하세요, 여러분. 미글라바. Okay. The question is, South and North Korea are working for reunification. As a citizen of South Korea, what are your views on this issue? South and North Korea are working for reunification. As a citizen of South Korea, what are your views on this issue? Mr. Korea, I would like to ask you a question. There was a conversation about the North Korea. How do you think about this as a citizen of South Korea? 우리에게 매우 의미 있는 일입니다. 이는 우리의 전쟁 종식을 이끌고 더불어 남북이 평화를 이루는 새로운 역사를 쓰게 될 것입니다. 감사합니다. I believe the talks between leaders of South and North Korea is very meaningful because it showed our willingness um, for official end to Korean war, South and North Korea will keep trying to light on our reunification. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, Korea. And now let's move on to Colombia. We also have an interpreter from Colombia. Buenas noches, Colombia. How are you? Fine. 
I, I'm so happy to be here, happy to meet this beautiful country, and happy and proudly to represent the Latin American guys in this top five. And we're happy to have you as well. Okay, are you ready for the question? See, si. You've been a dancer since you were young. How was being a performing artist shaped your life? You have been a dancer since you were young. How was being a performing artist shaped your life? El, trabajas como un uh, artista de, performa, de performance desde joven. ¿Cómo esa carrera forja tu vida? Creo que cuando trabajamos como artistas, la única herramienta que tenemos para trabajar somos nosotros mismos. When we work as a performers, we have a tool to work with ourselves. Siendo así, es un camino largo el que recorremos tratando de conocernos a nosotros mismos. It's a, it's a journey that helps us know who we are. El arte es lo que fui, lo que soy y lo que seré. And it is what I has been, I am and what I will be. Y creo que el arte es una herramienta muy bonita para mirar dentro de nosotros mismos, descubrir nuestro propio mundo interior y así poder dar lo mejor de nosotros hacia el mundo entero. It has been a tool that um, he, he, he does for himself and can contribute to the whole world too. El arte tiene la capacidad de mover fibras y cambiar el mundo. Having the capacity to change the world. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you very much, Colombia. And now we, are, we have our uh, contestant from Vietnam. Hi, Vietnam. Would you like to greet? I believe you have a lot of fans tonight. Uh, I'm very happy tonight uh, because I'm staying here for this competition. And uh, now I want to say thank you uh, about, uh, to everybody here uh, because support to me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Ready for the question? You are a singer. If there is one song that can describe your personality, what will you sing and can you sing it for us? You are a singer. If there is a song that can describe your personality, what will you sing and can you please sing it for us? Uh. Yet I'm a singer, and uh, if there, uh, if there a song can uh, tell in my personality, um, I think I would love to sing the song and "Hello Vietnam," because I love my country, and my country is all of my life. And of course, I I will sing this song for uh, all of you tonight. One day I touch your soul One day I finally know my soul One day I come to you To say hello, Vietnam One day I come to you To say hello, Vietnam to say xin chào Vietnam to say hello Vietnam Thank you thank you so much thank you Thank you so much a warm round of applause for Vietnam Surely that one day you will say hello because tomorrow we're traveling back to our countries. All right. Thank you so much, candidates. A warm round of applause for the final question and answer, please. <laughs> Judges, you have a tough decision to make. When we come back, the announcement of our top three finalists. Live from the National Theater in Yangon, Myanmar, this is the 12th 
Mr. International. Distinctively handsome man from all over the world began this journey. After four rounds of competition, only five remain. Now before the break, they each face the question and answer portion. And now it's time to find out who made it to the top three. I hope you guys are ready because it is happening right now. Once again, I would like to invite Mr. Amir Gamama. The top, the top three for the 12th Mr. International. The first contestant with a chance to become the next Mr. International is... Korea! The next man still in the competition! South Africa! There's only one spot left. One of you will move on and the other two. Your Mr. International Journey ends here. The last contestant in the final three is... Colombia! Ladies and gentlemen, your top three finalists! Coming up next, our finalists having one chance left to make a lasting impression on our judges. It's the final look, and later we will crown a new Mr. International, live from Myanmar. We are down to the top three, and this is their last chance to make an unforgettable impression in the final look. Ladies and gentlemen, your top three contenders. Korea South Africa One of these remarkable men will take the sash tonight. Our judges have weighed in and the final votes are being counted. 
We will name a new Mr. International in a short while. But before that, Lebanon won the first Mr. International title in 2006. And 11 years later, Paul Skander be became the 11th Mr. International. He's taken on the role with great enthusiasm and an inspiring drive to make a difference. He's raised the bar for men everywhere. Unfortunately, Paul is unable to join us tonight due to unforeseen circumstances. As a tribute to Paul, please enjoy this video presentation. Let us all watch this. Well, thank you so much, Paul. You have a very unforgettable journey. But now it's time to pass the sash to another deserving winner. The night began with 36 of the world's most impressive men. And now we have narrowed down to three. But to assist us in crowning, we have the first runner-up of the 11 Mr. International or Mr. International 2016, Masaya Yamagishi. I believe that we are still tallying our votes. So, uh, once again, we would like to thank Asiyon Lim and Danver of Oxen Films. Lumina Events, thank you so much. And of course, the Golden Land of Myanmar, thank you very much for having us here tonight. Such a beautiful country. The votes have been tallied. Our judges have weighed in. Contestants, this is the moment that you have been waiting for. May I call in Amir Gamama? The second runner-up. The second runner-up for the 12th Mr. International is... South Africa! One of you is about to become the next Mr. International. But if for any reason 
the winner is unable to fulfill his duties, the first runner-up will take his place. Good luck to the both of you. And now, just to be clear, I don't want any moment, I will be announcing the winner of the 12th Mr. International. Again, I will be announcing the winner of the 12th Mr. International. The new Mr. International is... Korea! Our first runner-up is Colombia. Ladies and gentlemen, once again we present to you the 12th Mr. International, Korea! And of course, to award we have Masaya, thank you so much. Take your first walk as the new Mr. International from Korea! Well, the sash has been passed to a brand new Mr. International. I feel amazing even though I did not win anything. It's been a wonderful night. Thanks to all our contestants, all our judges, and all to you fans at home. Ming Alaba, me and Mar, my name is Michael Bristol. Good night. Mr. International Trop, Mr. International World Final ကျွန်တော်တို့ကျင်းပါပြီးစီနေရာဆုံးရေပြီးပါတော့ဆိုင်ရာလူကြီးများအားလုံးနေတူဘူးဖောင်းပေါင်းပြီးပါတော့